is it is it on? Lock on. Oh yeah yeah, it's on as as on yeah, it's on. Okay okay. Ah, salam pa. How are you? Ah, yeah, wacht wacht. Ik praat gewoon hier met jou ziet maar wacht man. Ja, ik zal ik zal mijn water pullen later wat man. Je weet dat dat niet piel dag. Nee nee nee. Oh hello my boy. Do you right, my clone? Hey, quiet, 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 quiet. Yeah, fine, alhamdulillah, fine, alhamdulillah, pa. Can't complain. Everything's good. How's pa doing? Nee, nee, ja, wat kan ik maar maken? Dat is die pijn. Dat is, is pijn de hele dag. Pijn in mijn arms en mijn nek en mijn lille levensje, de hele dag. Ja, je moet just take some uh, vitamin C. We'll fix it all up. Hoor nou wat er min ook is er met. No, no, I'm just busy with a vlog, pa. I'm busy with a vlog. I'm... A vlog? What is a vlog? Talking to the camera and then I, um, I make videos. What? Praat je dan met jezelf? Is er een mal? Then I just fully please drink. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Just fully please drink for your eight months. Uh-uh. No, man, pa, man. It's not like that. It's um, it's for the internet, you know. So we make videos. Oh, oh, so, oh, so I, so I read comic like videos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get, yeah, I get, I get, yeah. Okay, yeah, and I meme is, yeah, I meme is. I say, yeah, I be say that. I love my yelta, love my meme is yelta. Love my, I mean, not so pretty, and I don't want to get me. When I old trauma, I meet I heal her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the meme is, ba. Memes. Oh. Nee, Mimi C. Oh, me, Nim. Nim. Oh, Nim. Oh, oh Nim. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna finish this vlog quickly and then, uh. Okay. Oh, nee, nee, wacht, wacht, wacht. Ik ga iets vertellen, man. Ik weet je nou, ik was. Toen ik jong geweest was. Toen werd ik in die. Um, die van die schoenenwinkels, man. We zijn schoenen recht gemaakt, ja. Het is. Het is very soul destroying. Okay. Uh, so, that is so, yeah, 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 Hey guys, welcome to the very first episode of my brand new channel. Uh, this one is called Becoming a Brand New Dad. As times have changed, the requirement for dads to be more involved in the child's growth and development is of a growing concern. I am soon to be a brand new dad. Uh, in approximately 67 days, my little bundle of joy uh, will be making his or her appearance. Just like me, there are thousands of dads out there who are just not fully equipped to understand all the new trends and expectations set upon us um, by society as fathers um, and also as supportive role players to our partners. These videos are aimed at bridging the gap between old school traditions and new school mindset. We can't just sit back anymore. Uh, we need to step up and be the heroes our kids need us to be. This series is produced during different stages of a child's development and growth. Uh, as there will be obviously content made available to dads with kids of all ages. I want to create this vlog as a support structure for dads of all shapes and sizes, regardless of age, race or religion. The core basis of this actual video series is around topics such as pregnancy, birthing, post-pregnancy uh, issues as well, such as postnatal depression, breastfeeding specifically, as well as becoming accustomed to your new life as a father and as a supportive role player to your partner. Since I'm not an expert, I will be researching these topics with various professionals in their respective fields. We will also be focusing on our kids, where we will have the opportunity to build long-lasting, strong relationships with them from a very young age with shows on creativity, um, some dad hacks, cooking tips, uh, healthy living, um, how to have fun with your kids when mom's not around. Last of the video's themes is around us, the guys. 
the men, the dads, the male character in this entire show called Life. It's where we will be taking care of ourselves, our bodies, our mental health, very importantly. Mental health is a very important thing. Um, taking part in different types of sports. I mean, I'm an avid fan of sports. My body doesn't show it. My body's going to be changing. Part of the whole routine is a segment called Dad Bod. Yes, you heard it. I'm going to be going through a very rigorous training schedule to drop some kilos and feel free to join me uh, as, I, as I take on this challenge for myself personally because I for one know I could do with missing a few meals here and there. Cool. Other things also we're going to be reviewing some gadgets, some toys, some dad toys is especially. Cool. Let's get back to the main part of the show. Uh, on today's episode we will be talking about scams. Yes, this is the very first interaction you have with your baby. Uh, it's very overwhelming. Sometimes it can be terrifying. But it's also very beautiful and it's an opportunity for you as the father to make that first connection with your child. We will be speaking to Sherilyn Hendricks. She is an ultra sonographer at Al Nisa Maternity Clinic where we've decided to have our baby. She'll be going through some of the various scans, what to expect, what can be done. Um, the screenings that can be done during the scan and, and how to actually go through all of that. So, if you're ready, follow me and let's go. Down syndrome either, but it looks at the risk 
So if your risk is low and you're happy, you don't need to do any other tests. But if there is an increased risk, obviously then you have to think about, do I want to do that invasive test, which is the amniocentesis. That's the test where they can check the baby's chromosomes and see is it normal or is it abnormal. Um, but that's an invasive test, so there's a risk of miscarriage with that test. And that's only the only real test that's going to tell you whether the baby's chromosomes are normal or not. Okay. So yeah, it's obviously a catch-22 situation. Yes, you can choose to screen for yourself and for your baby with that downs, and then you also run the risk of creating miscarriage, which is probably more traumatic than anything else. Yes. Um, so obviously those are the precautions that you advise us and as well as other clients uh, on what, what to look for. Okay, cool. So the 20, 20 week scan is obviously just a growth scan, I'm sure. Well, it's, um, so scan. if you compare the size, I mean, you, you all remember now, at 13 week scan compared to what your baby looked like at 20 week scan is a huge difference. Yeah. So, so we also see a lot more. So at a 20 week scan, you actually look at more detail and that's why we call it the detail with the fetal anomaly scan. So we're looking at much more detail in the, in the fetus. So I, I have to check all the structures in the brain. Um, I have to look at the heart in detail. I have to check that the kidneys are there and that they look normal. The spine, we look at the limbs again. Um, uh, there's a lot that goes into it. It's, it's, it's really doing sort of a full check from top of the head to the tip of the toe and make sure that everything looks normal. Obviously, we can never tell you that baby is going to be 100% normal because certain things we don't see mm. at that stage of the pregnancy. Certain things only develop later in pregnancy and also certain things you can't see on ultrasound. So, um, if I'm able to tick all my boxes and everything looks normal and all the measurements fit in, then we always say, look, you know what, we've checked everything. There's a 70% chance that everything is going to be okay with baby. Okay. Uh, also, you're looking at size, so you make sure that the baby has grown normally and that everything has grown symmetrically. So you look at the length of the legs, the arms, the tummy, the head. Mm. Is it all symmetrical and has it all grown normal? Okay. Well, I think that's um, I think that's all we need to know. Um, I know at some point during the the scan process, you can find out gender. Yes. We obviously we've chosen to to, to, keep, it to keep it a secret, it's especially for our first one. We yes. want to be have that, that excitement at the at yes. the birth. Yes. Um, but I'm sure the next one will definitely find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. It's a bit it's nice, easier it's for nice the to keep it a secret, and and it's a nice surprise to to have. I think everybody wants to know the gender these days. Yeah, because they want to have those fancy reveal parties. The big thing is now the gender reveal party and how awesome can my party be. Yeah, exactly. But I think it was my first one, it was a surprise. The second one, we we knew, we wanted to know the gender. But I I promise you, it's it's the best. To have a surprise. It's the best to have a surprise. Because until that moment, you're still you thinking, is it, is it a, yeah. what do I feel, how do I feel, and it's not going to be disappointing at all. Yeah, so you guys have heard it there, um, obviously, <laughs> uh, it is always the best to just have a surprise for the first one, but yeah, you never know, some people might just want to make it easier for themselves. Okay. Um, Jenny, I just want to thank you for, for spending time with us and then just explaining through everything and making it easier for us as fathers. To, to understand what's going on because a lot of the times a lot of these things just go straight over our heads and we don't actually have that opportunity to, to follow along. There you have it guys, um, Chilin laying down the basics for us there on what to expect when going for our scans. If you have any questions and you'd like me to pass it on to her and she can get back to us on, on that, some answers in next week's episode, uh, feel free to drop me a message in the comments or hit me up on Instagram, send me a DM. I will be sure to pass it on to her and get some information back to you. So I'm starting a new segment on this channel called Reading Between the Lines. You know, when ladies get the chance to tell us exactly what it is they want without us having to decipher the code. You know the code? Hmm, okay, it's fine. No, go with your friends. It's fine. We'll still be here when you get back. Okay, bye. Mm, yeah, that code. We want to get rid of that code. So, ladies, if you do not mind, just type down below in the comment section 
all it is that you want to say and the person that gives the best comment every week will receive a 250 rand take a lot voucher every week baller yeah i know i'm just starting my channel guys soon we will get there we will give away some better prizes but for now 250 rand that's all you need it's all you're gonna get and it's gonna be from take a lot and take a lot's gonna be like boom here's a nappies for you there's whatever it is you need some wipes okay cool accessory to my pram that's what you're getting with your 250 rand voucher so i'd like to sign off this episode and say thank you very much for watching this episode with me and i hope to see you here next week please and i beg of you please you have to be a subscriber if you want to win so please subscribe to my channel like the video tell your friends your aunts your uncles everyone about the channel get them all involved and we will see you in the next one